the focus of the People's National Movement is on a lasting solution for the existing deadlock in the Tobago House of Assembly, or THA. Political leader of the People's National Movement's Tobago Council, Tracy Davidson Celestine, said this was her party's goal, heading into Wednesday's meeting with the Progressive Democratic Patriots, or PDP. So our term being up to hopefully September or before the end of the year, because we have the assurance or the commitment rather that the Tobago House of Assembly bill will be brought to the parliament this year. So we expect that by September, those discussions would be concluded, that the bill would be proclaimed in parliament, and that would be the trigger for the next Tobago House of Assembly elections. PDP has presented a proposal for the Assembly to convene, and they are hopeful that at the meeting, a way forward can be determined. According to the Deputy Political Leader, Farley Augustine, the PDP has no issue with a joint executive council as long as the PDP can secure the division of finance. However, should the two parties be unable to agree, Mrs. Davidson Celestine said the PNM has several alternatives. We are fallback position one. We continue as we are doing now, and we wait for the passage of the bill and let that be the one to trigger the next election. But there are several um, options on the table at this time. Mrs. Davidson Celestin noted that Tobagonians have expressed their long term needs quite clearly. Meanwhile, the deputy political leader of the Progressive Democratic Patriots, PDP, Farley Augustine, is looking forward to Wednesday's meeting to discuss a temporary power-sharing arrangement with the People's National Movement, or PNM. Mr. Augustine is hopeful that both parties can reach an agreement that will benefit the people of Tobago. We can come to an agreement. I'm hopeful that we can work it out. Yeah. I'm hoping that we could come return to Tobagonians after tomorrow and say, look, we have figured something out. That is a temporary arrangement. When asked if the PDP had an alliance with the UNC, Mr. Augustine responded with an emphatic no. And I've been rubbishing that claim all along. The PDP is not aligned to the UNC. And that is really a narrative born out of a need to, to trump up racist politics in the country. But how would it be racist if one because, East Indian no, predominantly and one's African no, no, predominantly? Because, that's, because, that's, that's no, the, that alignment the, the is issue, good? The, no, the issue, the issue, but why make it an issue? If it is us aligning with the UNC is a political weapon, what makes it a weapon other than the fact that there, 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 there is some racism? Mr. Augustine was a guest on TTT's Now Morning Show.